Given that John Folletta's father worked for a while as a coal miner and his mother was a teacher, the lesson they instilled early in their son might seem a bit curious. Both my parents taught me that um, people who have their health ought to help people who don't. It was kind of a part of my background. It was a part of how I was raised. So from the first grade on, Folletta knew he wanted to be a doctor and eventually found his calling in pediatric hematology oncology. In pediatrics, I learned that both working with children, which was something I could do easily, and working in the field of pediatric hematology oncology, both really stimulated me. I felt there was a role for me there. Throughout most of his career, Folletta's main focus has been working with children with cancer. I felt there was something that I could do to help these kids. And help he did. During his more than three decades at Duke, Folletta brought a fresh approach to the medical management of children with cancer and leukemia, earning national and international praise as one of the best doctors in the world for pediatric oncology care. Said former patient Brian Stewart recently, who was treated by Folletta as a six-year-old. 31 years later, I'm still here. And, you know, I'm, and I'm just one, one of hundreds thousands of children who have been able to live a life past cancer because of Dr. John Folletta. Folletta also helped to establish a new standard of care for sickle cell anemia and with Duke's Thomas Kinney influenced the implementation of routine newborn screening for it. They also developed protocols to answer research process and funding questions and recruit subjects for studies. That model that Tom and I developed for ourselves was replicated for Joanne Kurtzberg, Henry Friedman, other people in the division. In addition to being senior chair of the Duke Health System Institutional Review Board, Folletta's contributions have reached far outside of Duke's walls. In the late 1970s, he launched a campaign to establish the first Ronald McDonald House in the region. It opened in 1980. We were the first house that, from the get-go, accepted children with any illness and their families. We were also the first house that didn't have a National Football League franchise in support of the effort. In April, the Ronald McDonald House organization honored Folletta at a black tie gala. Folletta and his wife Carolyn have two children who both live in California. Immediately after he retired, Folletta did something he hadn't done in two decades. I got a library card. I'll read for pleasure. I'll read to keep up in my field a little bit. He and Carolyn have an impressive yard with sculptures and multiple gardens, which he will gladly tend to in retirement. I love to garden. Absolutely love to garden. We uh, have a thousand square foot vegetable garden, 4,000 square feet of grass, about five, 6,000 square feet of beds. We have a bird feeder, we have a water feature. And we love this house, we love this place and it's kept us young.